We've learned of a Miami Valley company looking to hire in more than double its staff over the next few years. And management looking to hire people in a particular segment of the workforce hit especially hard by job losses. In this What's Working in the Miami Valley report, Jordan Burgess tells us about the high-ranking visitor who got to see why this isn't your typical workplace. Their days are as fast-paced as the interstate traffic that zips by their door. They're all the office are high-energy offices. We want them to be high-energy. When you're successful in this office, everybody hears about it. In this case, the ringing endorsement came from Congressman Mike Turner, touting the 100 jobs TQL wants to add over the next three years. We see that uh, the success that's uh, happening right here in the Miami Valley of job growth is a result of the people of the workforce. What those new workers will be doing is shipping freight, but this place doesn't even own a truck. Instead, they do it all by phone. They live first come, first serve until 10 o'clock tonight. And we would get your goods here, make sure you're well aware of it, and make sure you know where all your goods are at all times. A look around TQL shows you this isn't your typical workplace. Instead of cubicles, you'll find clubs and a cornhole game. Work hard, and we play hard. But amongst the fun, you'll also notice something else flags. We have to do the right thing. We we owe them the opportunity to come in here. We wouldn't all be here if it wasn't for those people. You see, TQL is attempting to include more veterans among its hires because despite winning wars, they can sometimes fight a losing battle at home. Why a lot of these people are being passed up is because they don't have a piece of paper that says I have corporate, you know, business experience. Matthew Disher should know. It took him a few years to find a good job after his time as a Marine. I, I would say, why am I being passed up? I have all of these skills. I just don't have a piece of paper that says that I've been there and done that. Now, Matthew has his dream job and is helping others get theirs. It may not be the military, but the company is still looking for a few good men and women. You've already learned one thing under high stress. Why not learn another? Whether you're a vet or not, if you'd like to apply, we have a link on our website, WDTN.com. Just look for web links on the home page. Jordan Burgess, 2 News. A Cincinnati-based company expanding in Centerville and bringing dozens of new jobs with it. News Center 7's Letitia Perry tells us why veterans in particular are strongly encouraged to apply. It's not Wall Street, but it is a sound of economic success. In addition to the hundreds of positions being filled nationwide, this local total quality logistics office has a goal of hiring at least one veteran per week. People coming out of the military get passed up because their resumes don't reflect what corporate America typically looks for. Um, and if employers would look past that and or have somebody to interpret those resumes, like myself, uh, I so I can pick up a resume and say, hey, it really doesn't apply to what we do here, but let's talk. As we have people who are coming home from Iraq, Afghanistan, and from service, uh, they've certainly found that some of the leadership skills that they need uh, can be found in the men and women who have led in protecting our country. Congressman Mike Turner paid a visit to the Centerville location this morning to see firsthand the kind of work done here. The jobs don't require any specific kind of degree, just a person willing to learn and ready to work. TQL matches those with loads to ship. Hey, they're going to load you up as soon as you get there, man, okay? With truckers willing to make the transport. The connections are made here in Centerville and at TQL offices across the country. Because the company is growing at such a fast pace, they need more workers now. We're looking to expand this operation here over the next three years by 100 people. This year, looking to add about 30, 20 or 30 people alone. And nationwide, we're looking to add about three to 400 jobs this year. If you're interested in applying for one of the immediate openings in Centerville, log on to our website, whiotv.com. We've created a link to TQL's website for online applications. In Centerville, Letitia Perry, News Center 7.